Hey guys, Fabrizio Van Marciano here from FabrizioVanMarciano.com. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Van Marciano. Welcome to another video tutorial, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the screencast. And so let's get started with this. I'm gonna show you how to create a custom style sheet to use with your Bricks website using the WP Codebox plugin for WordPress. And so here I am inside of my Bricks Builder editor. I'm currently editing a services page. This is just a dummy page that I've been testing here using Bricks Builder. I am using an older version of Bricks. Um, I can't remember what version it is, but it's not the current version. Okay, so what I wanna show you is how to create a custom style sheet to use in your Bricks website. Now, as you probably already know, you can add CSS to your Bricks website in different ways. You can do it at the page level here by going to the settings uh, icon up here and then going to page settings and then down to custom code and then we have a custom CSS sandbox. So you can do it that way, or you can do it at the element level where you can go to style and then scroll down to CSS here. And here we have another CSS field. The other way of course is to do it site-wide. So let me just go back to my dashboard here and then navigate to bricks and then settings and then custom code. And here we are, we have another field here where we can add custom CSS. And that is great for the most part, but I like to keep my CSS in one place rather than just have bits of code uh, everywhere. And uh, yeah, so let me just show you how you can create a unique custom style sheet to use for your Bricks website. And we're gonna be using a plugin called WordPress Code Snippets or WP Codebox, which I'm, again, I'm pretty sure that you've come across already. So this is a premium plugin guys, and you can learn all about it over at wpcodebox.com. And so we're gonna be installing this plugin and then creating our style sheets. So let me just go back to my dashboard here in my dummy website. So what I need to do is come down to plugins and then add new. So I already have this downloaded from my WP Codebox account. So I'm just gonna go and upload this plugin now. And then I'm gonna click on install and then I'm going to click on activate plugin. All right, so what I need to do now is head over to the WP code box option here in my sidebar and go to settings. And hopefully I have my secret API key installed here. Save settings, no thanks. And yeah, I think that has worked. I'm not too sure, but yeah. Okay, so now I wanna create my style sheet to use with my Bricks website. So I'm not gonna go through all of the options and features within the WP Codebox plugin. Perhaps I'll save that for another video. I'm just gonna create a very simple style sheet. But before I do, I'm gonna head over to settings here and I wanna make a couple of changes. So where it says enable dark mode, I'm going to enable that and then save settings. Okay, so let's go to new snippet or we already have one open here. So let's just rename this to Bricks main style sheet. Of course, you can name this whatever you want, perhaps the name of your website and then main style sheet. We can add a description here if we want to, but I'm not going to bother with this. Type is gonna be CSS and how to render the CSS in line, that is fine. Auto reload changes, yes, if I can, that is, nope. Please save the snippet before using this feature. Okay, fair enough. Script location header and where to run this snippet everywhere. We can also select front end as well here, but let's just leave it as everywhere for the time being. Okie dokie. So I'm going to go ahead and save this now, and then I'm going to enable auto reload changes. So one of the things we wanna do here as well is to enable this style sheet, okay? or code snippet, I should say. Okay, so as you can see here under local snippets, we have our main bricks style sheet. So now let's see if we can put this to work here. So I'm gonna go over here to click on preview. And here I have a preview of my website. This is the front end of the site, but I want to preview the page that I'm working on, which is this services page here. So I'm just gonna copy this URL here, and then I'm gonna go back to my WP code box and paste it in here if I can. And here we are. Now I am previewing the front end of my services page. So what we're gonna do is add some CSS in here to style the background of this section here, the heading, the icon, and the text. And we're only doing this to test to make sure that our style sheet is working. So what I need to do very quickly is go back to my Bricks editor in here. And I just wanna check the classes that I have for uh, some of these elements. So the section here is services section, the heading is services heading, and this is icon and this is text, pretty straightforward. Okay, let's go back to our WP code box here and we'll begin with a section. So I'm gonna add the uh, class for the section. So, oops, that was services section, okay? 
And so let's just do something very basic here. We're going to change the background color and then we're going to use dark gray for this. Okay, so now we need to save. And as you can see here, our changes have taken place and our section background has changed. So we can see this is working. So let's do something else here. Let's do the heading, which was services heading. And we're going to change the color to something like white. Oh yeah, let's save. And here we go. Pretty cool. So now we can just write all of our CSS inside of our new main style sheet here that we've created in WP Codebox. And we don't have to add our CSS all over the place or even use the sandbox that's provided within Bricks. We can just keep everything organized inside of our style sheet. And the thing is, the benefit of using a setup like this for your style sheet or any code snippets for your Bricks website, firstly, you can take advantage of the syntax highlighting and also the autocomplete features. Now, I'm actually creating this tutorial on a very small screen here. What I can do, because I don't have much space to work with here, I can minimize this pane and I can also collapse the menu here in the WordPress dashboard here. And here, as you can see, we have a little bit more room, not a great deal more, but we can at least see what, what is going on. Okay, so that is it for this little tutorial. Once again, I just wanted to show you that you can create a custom style sheet for your Bricks website using the WP Codebox plugin. I will have a link to this uh, plugin. It is a premium plugin, guys. It's not a free plugin, but uh, you can check it out. And the main purpose of this plugin is to save you an enormous amount of time having to bounce from one tab to the next or open up different uh, um, windows to access your CSS boxes or fields to add your custom code. And the other thing I haven't mentioned is, of course, you can create more than just style sheets using this plugin. So if we go back to the WP code box here, let me just save this. So we can create another snippet here and under type, and we have all sorts of markups and languages supported by this plugin. So we have CSS, SCSS, JavaScript, HTML, plain text, and whatnot. So yeah. And one other thing that I want to highlight about this plugin is, I know I said I wouldn't dive into all of the features, but you can save your snippets, such as your style sheet and code snippets locally here. As you can see, I have my main brick style sheet here, but I can also upload this to the cloud and then perhaps use it on another bricks website using the WP Codebox plugin and enable this style sheet there and then make some subtle changes if I need to. So again, a huge time saver and definitely one of my favorite plugins to use right now. All right, so that is it from me. Sorry if I've waffled on a little bit too long, but again, if you want to create a custom style sheet to use with your Bricks website, do check out the WP Codebox plugin. Actually, I should mention that this plugin doesn't just work with Bricks. If you're using Oxygen or something else entirely, maybe Elementor, WooCommerce, Beaver Builder, etc., it doesn't matter. I will create a separate video about WP Codebox in the future, but it's uh, very easy to set up and use. So yeah, I will have a link to WP Codebox if you want to grab the plugin for yourself. Full disclaimer, it is an affiliate link, so that means I may be paid a small commission if you purchase the plugin through my link at no additional cost to you, of course, but I do appreciate the support. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Don't forget to check out my complete Oxygen Builder and WordPress website building video course. I will have the link in the description. If you want to learn how to build a website from complete scratch without pulling all of your hair out and... <laughs> If you want to learn more about me, head over to my website at fabriziovamarciano.com. But until the next video, take it easy and peace. Cheers.